Boys on my iPhone. It's me, Lou, mate, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm doing something pretty exciting. If you follow me on my social medias or watch my Christmas wish list video, you may know that I recently was able to get the iPhone 11. Shout out to my dad, it was an early Christmas present, so I'm so happy with it. A lot of people have been asking me on like Instagram and stuff for me to do an update to what's on my iPhone. The last time I did one of these, I think, was like September 2018. Since I got a brand new phone out, I thought this would be the perfect time to do an updated one. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's talk about like the outside of my phone first I got the white iPhone 11. I didn't want the pro because I feel like it's so much more expensive just for an extra camera I personally think the quality on this is just as good as the iPhone 11 pro anyways So the case that I currently have on my phone is this pink one which says my name on it right there If you can see that my favorite place that does phone cases at the phone case company on Instagram They are such good quality they protect your phone from like everything if you are looking for a good quality affordable phone case I definitely recommend them so let's get on to what's actually on the phone I'll probably place like the screen recording here as you can tell from my home screen I haven't actually changed the wallpaper yet when I get a new phone I kind of like to just leave the original one there for a bit I don't know about you but I feel like it makes it feel fresher anyways getting into the actual phone obviously not gonna go into much detail because you guys already know about all of this anyways I've got FaceTime calendar photo Photos, camera, mail. I have so many notifications because I just don't use that mail app. I use a different app for mail and I just can't be bothered to go through all of that and delete it all because it's just going to fill back up within a week anyway. I've then got clock where... I don't want to talk about clock. I've got maps, weather, reminders, notes, stocks, news, books, app store, podcast, TV, health, home, wallet and settings. That was a mouthful. The apps that I use the most would probably be just FaceTime, photos, and camera. My second page, which is a little bit more interesting, I've got files, find my iPhone. I've got shortcuts, iTunes store, tips, contacts, watch. I then got a folder called utilities where I have voice memos, compass, measure, and calculator. Apple store, clips, garage band, which is actually kind of fun, let me not lie. I don't use it very often, but you know, it's kind of fun. Let's, let's play you a song real quick. Thank you very much. I have been Lily May and you have been a fabulous audience. How do I suddenly have 17 notifications on GarageBand? What the frick? I then have Keynote, Numbers, Pages, iMovie. I use iMovie mainly for just like little school projects and stuff if I need to edit on the go. I have iTunes U. Now the rest of these apps in these folders are actually my apps that I've decided to download. My first folder that I've created is my social folder which is probably the folder that I use the most honestly. In here I've got Instagram which you should definitely go follow me on. My Instagram is here and here. I use Instagram so so much. I am so active on there So definitely go and check it out. I definitely recommend liking and commenting on my recent cuz why not? I then have everybody's favorite app TikTok. I mean who doesn't love TikTok? Who doesn't have TikTok? You know, it's kind of wild It's kind of crazy, but we love it. We are TikTok queens out here So make sure you follow me on there as well dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. I post the most random stuff, but I recommend you follow it I then have Twitter Which I don't use as much as my other social medias, but if you want to follow me on there Just drop me a follow. I post a lot of random stuff how I'm feeling and everything like that If you want to follow back on Twitter, just tweet me. I'll definitely follow you back I then have 21 buttons, which can I just say, I am verified on 21 buttons. I am so gassed, like that is crazy to me. If you don't know what 21 buttons is, it's just an app where you can like tag your clothes and people can basically buy them straight from there. And literally anyone can make like money from this. I then have YouTube, I'm not really too sure what that is. I don't really use it very often. My channel is low key dying at the moment, so please go watch my other videos, thank, thank you. you. I then have Facebook and Messenger, which are both private. I then have Snapchat, which is also private, but hey, What's up? I like Skittles, but I don't want to be for them. If you would like me to make my Snapchat public, do let me know. That is all for the social folder. Now, my second folder is called Important because I'm such a businesswoman. I have my Gmail, which I actually use regularly compared to Mail. I just prefer the Gmail app to use for my emails. I then have YouTube Studio, which some of you, if you don't actually do YouTube, you might not know about. Basically, on YouTube Studio, you can look at like your analytics for your videos and stuff. I have Santander so that I can look at my bank, make sure I'm not spending too much money. I have Clue, which is an app for all you ladies out there. I have Three, which is like my mobile network, so I can see all my minutes and data that I have left. 
I have PayPal mainly for Depop because I've started selling stuff on Depop. AdSense which is basically YouTube pay and bus times because I live in London. The next folder is called Random and in here I have Captain which is just like a taxi app. I have Depop which like I said I've recently started using and selling stuff on there. So make sure you go check out my Depop. I have Visco which I use to edit my Instagram photos. As you can see that is basically my Instagram feed. So let me actually show you how I edit my photos. As you can see on this one I do have a filter on it. This is before and this is after. There's not a huge difference, but I feel like it just looks a bit better. What I've done with this photo in particular, I don't always use filters. This one I did, I used HB2 on plus 2.7. I turned down the exposure by one, turned up the saturation by 0.7, and then did I do anything on white balance? I turned down the temperature to minus 0.5. That is how I edited that photo. Most of my photos, I literally just turned up the saturation like a tiny bit. This is before, this is after. As you can see, it's like the tiniest difference. All I did on this photo was turn up the saturation to plus 0.7. Editing on my photos kind of varies depending on the photo and how it looks with the rest of them. I'm pretty sure my recent one is the most edited because I don't actually filter any of them really. That was a quick tutorial on that for you guys. The next app I have is Instagram layout where you can just sort of collage pictures for example. There you go, that's the gist of it. I have Fonto which I edit my thumbnails and stuff on. I have Pixar, I don't really know why I have Pixar, I hardly use it. I have Uber Eats and Delivery which I should probably stop using. Um, <laughs> last app I have in this folder is Netflix because everybody needs a bit of Netflix in their life. life. My last folder literally has three apps in it and it's called School because we use all like Google stuff to do our schoolwork on. Just so that it's easy for us to access like at home as well as in school. In here I just have Google Drive, Google Classroom and Google Slides. Boring, I know. That is all the folders and then on the little bottom bar I just have phone, safari, messages and music. Obviously this is quite a basic video but it was requested so I just wanted to do it for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and Anyways, if you did, make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. Turn on the notification bell because YouTube aren't putting my videos in sub boxes. Kind of rude of them, but we move. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. Also, I am doing Vlogmas at the moment, filming it on this phone. Make sure you stay tuned for all my Vlogmases. So far, I'm pretty sure I've only got one up. I'm doing them weekly. Make sure you go check that one out. That is all I have to say for this week's video. I will see you guys very, very soon with Vlogmas Week 2. Peace! Whew. <laughs>